Eh? Are you going to be alright? Oh, I'll have to go to a brighter area, not this dark stuff. Just let me know if you can't see anything. We're trying our best to have the best lighting in here. At like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, 10 o'clock in Mexico, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit warm there now. So. Alright guys, so as you can tell by the title of this video, uh, this Hyundai is a super killer but not actually on the straights. When I mean a super killer, we're talking about the corners, the, aren't we, the, Ryan? The corners. Yes. That's so, the tricky bit. <laughs> the reason why I call this the super killer is Ryan took his i30N to a super event, which was a skid pan motor Kana day at Easton Creek. He beat all the supers there. <laughs> so, that, was great. That, was good <laughs> that, that burned a, a, f a few people, I guess. Yeah. Well, May as well, because it's a Hyundai just doing those rolling shots that we did before yeah. and all those pops and crackles. I don't know how it's legal. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you've got all these emissions and noise pollution and that. And I'm pretty sure when I was following you, man, that's Loud. Oh yeah. I so don't, I don't know how it got passed. I honestly, know, I don't know how it passes because there's there's well, even with golfs and stuff when they pop and AMGs, every, everything pops these days. But it must be the exhaust note and then the pops just no. Nah. I, I don't know how it passes. Like when we like, we we there when I had it at Uncle's and then we like popped it in there. He was like, "What the hell?" Is a factory warranty that you can take into the, the track? track. Non the track? non competitive event. So non competitive. So, it's, I've, uh, I've definitely taken advantage of that. How cool is that, man? Yeah, it's so good. It I don't means... think any other manufacturer does that, yeah? Well, no, Porsches do. <laughs> I think every car guy can relate to this. We always want to race our cars, take them to the track, but we always have that sense of worryingness. You know, is it going to overheat or whatever like that? You know, we get paranoid that we're going to break something, especially super owners in their... B series oh, or A it's, series it's also, tips. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm nearly at 18,000 kilometers and I, it's spirited driving, a couple of track days, drags a couple of times, and it's just been awesome. Like, the, uh, the only thing I've had to change is the front brake pads again. I had to change them at 14,000 because that was three track days. That's well, yeah, pretty I did expected. see. I did see your brake rotors, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I need to get, I need to get some uh, track stuff to swap out for track days, but. That's when you go crazy, but it's um. Other than that, as a factory car, nothing done. Super impressive. It's just it. it I'm I nearly eighteen thousand kilometers in, and I still pop and bang, and I don't stop. It just keeps on doing. It keeps putting a smile on your face. It's so good. 
Like, I mean, it is common sense that it's a, you know, a new car. It's going to be quiet inside, which you can tell already. But it is so comfortable, dude, honestly. Yeah. Like, These I'm seats. In, I'm in normal mode right now. Just That's just cruising, yeah. And then I can just, you know, Change flick it the over. flag on the steering wheel and then... Yes, it that's what I gets, wanted. It never that's gets, what it, I wanted. It never gets old. <laughs> oh. I swear we saw that guy before, eh? Supra. <laughs> Almost looked like Ryan, eh? Ryan, did you get a white Supra? <laughs> Man, it is really responsive, eh? Yeah. And I, I remember you came to my house um, when you first bought it. I don't know how long you had it for. And I oh, noticed I straight away ago. how responsive it was. And yeah. I had to Google... I, I Googled, like when it hits boost and when it gets torque you're getting power at 1500 rpm dude 1500 yeah it's so it's so good like it responds like crazy but as soon as you pass 5000 rpm there's no point keeping your foot down yeah no it runs out of puff but it's made for when you're going through the corners you just put your foot down and you're out and the electronic diff in these is absolutely phenomenal you can be halfway through a hairpin put your foot down and it'll just take you out front wheel drives normally you if you do that, you're understeering to a rail guard. This stick shift, man, it honestly feels like yeah. you know, your game simulator, how smooth it goes into gears. And man. If, you, if you change if you change gears quick enough, you actually get the uh, DSG far. Yeah, even though it's not DSG far. I love the the cluster in this, eh? It looks really good. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the A45, I think, the AMG. You ever been in one of them? Yeah. Oh, the older Similar, one. The yeah, 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 yeah. So you had an R34 GTT. Oh, I, had a G I had a GTT and I do not miss it one second. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it, but... Jesus. <laughs> they can get you in trouble, though. Oh, that light. Needed. But you have said that you got, you're got you getting less attention in this car oh, so than much if, less. You had in, if you had your 34. Like, I've been on cruises with the super guys, and... They all get bored. The over. cops target them, <laughs> and I'll be, I'll be doing, you know, t for past them, and, like, there was a... One of those... We're in the 80 zone and there was the cops pulled over. I think there was a bus broken down and go and leave it Wollongong or something. And all the all the super guys behind me slowed right down and like and they pulled out behind him. They didn't pull anyone over, but I just went flying by. They didn't even bother looking at me. Yeah, oh, it's 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 a lot of fun. But like five years ago, I, I would have put a gun to my head if I said I'd fall in love with the Hyundai. Here I am. I absolutely love this it's so good. Yeah, imagine your past could go in the future now and you'd be like, oh yeah, I drive a Hyundai. Yeah, I'd be like, what, what the fuck? What? <laughs> on this what's zero to 60 in these things zero to 60 is 6.1 seconds factory time actually fuck we got the time forget about that stuff have you got your best time on here performance timer I don't think I do no there you go 5.7 is the previous five point, one that's, that's good I can that's do good. I can do 5.7 pretty consistently um, but and then I can get pretty quick into the 13s down the drags whereas the drag the factory time or the set time is 14.1 seconds down the quarter mile but the factory time I don't know why but they put 19s on them with P0s it is the worst combination it makes the car tramp in the wet and everything like that whereas I put 18s on it same width but just 40 profile instead of 35 profile yeah but with um, Michelin Pilot Sport 4s I didn't want to go anything fancy because I wanted to get reasonable Ks out of the tyres but these tyres have been pretty impressive. Well, speaking of drags, we went yesterday and I recorded you going to the drags and lucky we got your, your PB. <laughs> yeah. Which was what, a 13 13.7.8 13, or something? And yeah. mile an hour was 
one. One oh one. One oh one. Yeah. I think the fastest miles per hour down there is one oh one point six or something. It, it's not. And here's the interesting thing. His sixty foot was what two point two point two point one two point one five or something. So, so sixty foot. If you dropped it under two seconds, yeah, maybe a thirteen three, maybe. Yeah, I reckon with semi slicks. If I had semi slicks and a churn, or some sticky rubber and a churn, you'd be able to get into low thirteens easy. But it's a front wheel drive. There's only so much you can do. Oh, if you read any car reviewers, the common thing that is said is just the value for money for fun. It's a smile on the face. That's that's all I care about. There's so many cars out there that are quick, but just the smile on the face factor is massive about cars. That's why all these guys keep their Supras. They keep their old Skylines, everything like that, because they're just raw and traditional. And they're just fun. Is it weird that I still like that it's front wheel drive? Like a part of me is like, yeah, for four wheel drive or you know i could see like it like like handling or whatever but i think i like that it's front wheel drive i don't know maybe the it's the characteristics the, the torque steer because unlike in the past where powerful like this is 200 kilowatts it, 10 years ago if a car had 200 kilowatts and a front wheel drive torque steer would take over whereas this gives you a little bit like in normal mode it doesn't give you torque steer in end mode or well, that sport plus is it's generically called yeah it, um yeah it it gives you enough feedback in it talks to you that it's it's actually a lot of fun. Ryan, thank you so much man. Thank you. Really appreciate it for tonight. If you were ever thinking of buying an I an I30N or you know were curious about them, I rate them. I'd probably give it about a, a nine out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. Depends on what rating scale you're coming from. Look, I'm a simple guy. I like a little bit of power, I like comfortability, everything all around. And 200 kilowatts, it's, 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 even this car is probably a little bit too much for the street. Like anyone that has more than that, you're just going to get yourself into nah. trouble. It's just enough to have so much fun. But overall package, awesome. Fun. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. And we'll see you next time.